Welcome to one of Oklahoma's treasured sites, the Will Rogers Memorial Museum in Claremore. Will was known throughout the world, not just in Oklahoma, not just in the United States, but he played everywhere. Historical guide Andy Hogan says this facility sees about 30,000 visitors a year from all over the world. It's here you'll see thousands of items belonging to Will and his family. The first room takes you back to the days of true cowboys. Anything to do with horses, Will had, he brought it in from all over the world, probably rode every one of the saddles that's in here. Will was a cowboy. He was born right out here 13, 14 miles from here in a house close to Uligal. Uh, that his dad had built several years earlier. Uh, big ranch, hard Indian, both of them. Check out Will's many hats, boots, and lassos. Thousands of photographs and home movies. There are personal papers and letters audio tapes and original manuscripts, all of it helping to paint a picture of a legend. The last three years of his life, 33 through 35, he was the top male box office draw in the movies. Shirley Temple was his uh, peer, uh, she was the female top and he was the top male. This facility has been open since 1938. It was constructed three years after Will was killed in an Alaskan plane crash. The land where the museum is located had been purchased by Will Rogers and his wife Betty. They had owned it since 1911. Will used to have the saying that buy all the land you can because they've finished making all they're ever going to make, so buy what's left. He owned land here in Oklahoma and in California. Here's a replica of his West Coast study. It's among the displays taking visitors from Will's days as a cowboy to world-class entertainer. He was a humorist. Uh, his whole object in life was to entertain people. Now, we get to thinking of him sometimes as maybe a guru or a, a, a priest or a preacher or a politician or something or a philosopher. Well, he was a little bit of every one of those, but first and foremost, he was an entertainer, Will was. Take a look back at his Indian roots and family history in the Heritage Room. There's a story behind everything. For instance, Will and Betty's marriage license from 1908. It took her eight years to give in to marry old Will. Will said, I, uh, I did a lot of rope tricks. I roped a lot of things, but the night I, I married that gal, that was my best trick I ever did. That was my champion roping trick. Speaking of rope tricks, that's where Will got his start in the entertainment business. He traveled the world with his lasso as a Cherokee kid, making 25 bucks a week. He'd send money home to his dad and have him put it in the bank, and his dad said, boy, I don't, don't know where my boy's coming by this money. I hope it's honest money, because I know he ain't been working for a living very much. Will is still creating laughs here, but you also feel his compassion for the fellow man. They're, they're not asking for, for charity. They're asking, naturally asking for a job. But if you can't give them a job, why the next best thing you can do is, is see that they have food and the necessities of life. At the end of the museum is a small, quiet room, depicting Will's final journey with his buddy and pilot, Wiley Post. There's uh, things that depict the nine days that they flew in Alaska killed on August the 15th, the typewriter that he had with him. He was writing a weekly and a daily newspaper article at the time, and he was, every day he had that old typewriter. One glass case holds some of the items Will had on him at the time of the crash, such as a pocket watch, broken eyeglasses, and flight goggles. All of it a reminder of a great Oklahoma whose life was cut short so long ago in 1935, a life that is still remembered today. Just outside the doors where all that history is housed is the final resting place. Will and six of his family members are interred at a memorial in an underground mausoleum. It's here thousands of visitors pay their respects and remember a legend. In Claremore, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.